Hey folks, Melissa from Fish Alaska, along with my friend Nelly from Trout Unlimited. We are two Alaska moms who spend a lot of time outdoors with our kids. We get a lot of questions from other parents on gear and tips for taking kids outside. There is so much gear out there, but here are a few things we found work well for each of our families. We'll talk about a general idea of what every kid needs to stay warm and dry in Alaska's outdoors, and I'll share a couple of my favorite items. I'm going to turn it over to my good friend, Nellie. Hi, everybody. I'm Nellie. Uh, I am a mom of two young kids, and I live here in Anchorage with my husband. And we love to fish and love to be outside uh, hiking and biking and, and just enjoying this great state we live in. I'm also the Alaska director for Trout Unlimited, and we have a team of, of eight here in Alaska that uh, work to take care of the places you love to fish. Uh, and a big part of, of what I get excited about is making sure that, that families uh, have what it takes and the tools and resources they need to, to get outside and have fun together. Um, so when Melissa asked me to share a couple of the things that I've learned since becoming a mom about getting outside with kids, I was really tickled uh, and I'm excited to share that with you today. Um, things kind of fall into four categories for me. One is being comfortable, two is being safe, three is making it easy as possible because we're all parents and we're all really busy, and then four is really having fun because uh, that's ultimately what it's all about. So I get a lot of questions on what, what should kids wear when they're out on the water all day? And um, in many ways, it's not different from, you know, if you're out hiking or ice fishing or they're playing outside in the yard all day. Um, but a couple things to keep in mind. Um, you know, we, Alaska waters are cold, and so we, we dress very warmly from, from toes to, to head. I basically have most of our winter gear with us on the boat at all times, uh, including rain gear, of course. But specific to fishing, we have, uh, I used to do, uh, I used to have all sorts of things where I'd try to, you know, duct tape their rain pants to their, their mud boots. But finally, um, we just always ended up wet. So a couple years ago, basically when your kid is pretty solid with walking, uh, on on rocks, um, we invested in some waders. Um, there's a lot of waders out there. Uh, I'm a pretty big fan of the full neoprene waders just because uh, they're warmer. And when you're on the water all day, it's very rare that you're you're too hot. Uh, this particular brand is is Oki Wear. They have the built-in boots. Um, for my kids, those work. They're we usually end up putting a couple layers of socks on there. The neoprene has been pretty durable. We are really hard on them. We probably go through a pair of waders, you know, every year and a half or so, uh, but that kind of matches with our, the kids' growth rates for the most part. And, you know, we probably put, um, oh, I don't know, many, many days <laughs> on the river and it's crawling around on gravel bars and in and out of the boats constantly. So um, we definitely get our use out of them, but they've been a, a key way of keeping your kids dry. And sometimes we even, they end up wearing their waders, uh, even if we're not, not fishing because they're a great way to stay dry. Um, a couple of, of things we found helpful, um, a really good waterproof raincoat um, with a, a ceiling zipper helps to keep kids dry. Um, and we wear these in the spring, the summer, and the fall. We throw them, I usually buy my raincoats big so that they can fit over puffy jackets um, in the, in the shoulder seasons. Um, Oki Wear makes these great, and other companies too, but they make these great full body waterproof suits. Uh, not only is it great as rain gear, but it's good for playing in the mud, um, and keeping relatively dry. Good fitting gear is really important for kids. You know, I, I know many of us know how uncomfortable it is to hike with shoes don't, don't fit or a jacket that's too short. Um, and I think that's really important for kids too, and it's been really great to see some of the companies um, um, adapting the sizes, so you can cut out a seam inside the pants and uh, make sure they last a little bit longer than they, they would if it was just one size. So you know, when you drop $50 or $75 or 100 bucks on a, uh, a raincoat or, or snow pants, um, they're now making them a little bit longer lasting and comfortable for the kids and functional for the kids. So a couple tips in the comfort department. In Alaska, our kids have to be warm and dry from head to toe. One of my favorite hats that Maisie 
still wears is the Sunday Afternoons Shasta hat. What I love most about it is the chin strap keeps it totally fastened around her head, keeping her ears warm. And it's made of a material that repels water. It's not completely waterproof, but it repels. So this is a warm hat. This is a hat made by Cirrus, which Maisie's worn for several years. It's great because it's both knit lined and has a fleece layer. It's also very breathable. So playing outside, skiing, ice fishing, this hat is universal for kids in Alaska. Probably my favorite hat of Maisie's is her Kiviet hat that she's had since she was just a little baby. The beauty of Kiviet or muskox fur is that it is extremely soft, extremely warm, and it doesn't itch. I love it. I wear it all myself. I got Maisie a Kiviet hat made by my friends at Ooming Mac in downtown Anchorage when she was just about one year old. Kiviet will grow slightly and stretch uh, so she can still wear it. It's a beautiful hat and it's heirloom quality that will pass down for generations. Oh, you'll want to keep kids warm layering just as you would yourself. This particular pair is a little bit thicker, more of a mid layer, and it works great under waders or under rain gear on a cooler day or you can layer it up as this is the base layer and you're going with a heavyweight layer over this for those cooler days. Same principle as with yourself. Some of them that I've tested that I really feel very comfortable are uh, these made by Terramar. We also love Hot Chili's brand base layers for kids. They make a great set. So in the spirit of layering, a vest is always a great option for building up warmth around your kiddo. If it was extra cold, this would be fine just over a, a base layer top uh, and it gives nice freedom of movement uh, around the arms for fishing or whatever those little cuties are up to. On, an, on a cooler day, uh, 35, 40 degrees rain, this could go over this, over the base layer uh, and still have room for a coat and a raincoat. These kids are not getting cold. So this is made by Columbia, and this is just a great all around piece to have. And this is, uh, we just got this this year to test. It looks great, it's from Patagonia, uh, and it'll be, it's just a lightweight fleece. But again, it's a layering piece. All of these pieces together, it's easy to take one thing off uh, and be at the exact temperature you wanna be. Perhaps the most important piece of gear you can have for kids in Alaska is a quality rain suit. Now, there are days when something like this lightweight piece from Eddie Bauer or any number of brands make a nice lightweight rain jacket. So we have days like this in June and July where, where something like this will be great. Uh, if it's a little cooler, you can layer on, under this as well. But this will keep them dry from elements until you really see some rain coming down. And then when it comes to fishing or being outside for extended period or playing outside hardcore in the rain, there are a couple rain suits we recommend um, by both Grundens and Drift Creek Outdoors. So Grundens makes this weather watch suit. What I love most about this is the high vis yellow. On a sport fishing boat, on a charter in the ocean, I can always see out of whatever direction where my kid is. And for safety, I, I just appreciate being able to keep an easy eye on her when I'm fishing and also running a camera. A great piece by Grundens for kids is the Zenith jacket and bibs. And that's more of a rubber material that you'd expect to find in some of their other lightweight gauge sport fishing assortment. It's really uh, completely waterproof and easy to clean and that and it's soft enough uh, to still give kids plenty of movement. The Drift Creek Outdoors Granite Frogger jacket and pants are a great rain set for kids. It's again, that heavier duty, 100% waterproof, lightweight rubber material that we all know as like Impertec or something to that effect. 
that's great for the salt water, it's great for rain. An accessory I love are these neck warmers, such as these made by Buff. You can just get them lightweight only or um, something in a double like this where you can layer it up multiple and there's the fleece component for extra warmth. This can be worn in a variety of ways to warm up your kiddo, but it's nice to have it at the neck just to keep the wind out. Buff makes some cute ones for kids that add a nice pop of color in your photos. So keeping kids' hands warm is a little trickier. When it comes to gloves, oh, I haven't found the perfect ones for kids yet. I don't know if they exist on the planet. Um, these by Carhartt, these, these are mittens. These are great. You can wear a base layer liner glove, actual glove under a mitten uh, on cooler days. And I, what obviously the best part of these is the Velcro to keep the mittens on um, and the little gauntlet that comes up over their coat sleeve wrist to keep snow and cool off their arms. So. Waterproof, dexterity, uh, warmth, gloves are tricky. Uh, it's, they're hard for adults as well. When it comes to socks, they should wear wool, much like you would. Cotton is never a good idea in the Alaska outdoors. So smart wool, wigwam, brands like this make quality wool socks for kids. As far as boots go, there are certainly plenty of choices, but every Alaska kid has their extra tufts. Muck Boots makes great choices. And Boggs, those are all great rain boot choices for kids here for the Great Land. And as far as winter boots go, check out Baffin and Kamek. Uh, they make a good variety for kids. Those are some of my favorite items for kids in the outdoors here in Alaska. Make sure you check out our gear review annually. We always have a section in there testing new stuff. So just a couple tips and when you are picking out items for your kids for the outdoors. We do really actually recommend that you spend for the quality that you can afford. We recommend making choices that work well for a variety of kids in your household so that they can use an item and pass it down or on to friends. I recommend sizing up and getting it roomy because those kids sure do grow fast. You can always layer up under it and it'll last longer. I like to choose bright colors uh, so I can always spot my kid. Items roomy, you can always layer up under it and it'll last longer. I like to choose bright colors uh, so I can always spot my kid, but also I consider getting gender neutral colors so that I can share when we've grown out of it, I can share it among friends, kids. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned something. If you've got a favorite piece of gear, make sure you shoot me a note. I'm at Melissa Norris at fishalaskamagazine.com. Thing I wanted to just add as far as um, both comfort and um, and making things easy is investing in a really good pack of of some kind as well, particularly when your kids are young. Um, and it doesn't really matter uh, what kind of pack. I've found that the, the soft packs that um, you can get a baby close, close to you uh, both helps keep them warm. Uh, regardless of, of the temperatures, it makes it easy to feed them. Um, and if you can find a pack that ha can grow with your kid, that's, that's really helpful. I use this one, um, which is kind of a, a back. It can be on the front, it can be on the back. Uh, my kids were in there from the time they were, were a week old all the way until they were um, three or four. So, uh, and that pack uh, really opens things up. It, it helped um, get them on the boat. It helped get them on the trail at a young age. And, you know, the earlier and more often you get kids out, uh, the easier it is when they're, when they're older. Really important to... Um, not make getting outside with your kids a big production. And I am a, a full-on believer of one, just getting out your front door and, and finding fun things to do, even if it's just in your cul-de-sac or uh, on your driveway or right in your own neighborhood. We've had some great adventures over the past few months just right from our front door. Um, if, you're, if you're going to uh, embark on a, a, a longer journey, um, 
there are tons. I mean, we're all parents, so we've got our, our systems. But one thing I'll share that I've found a game changer is um, whether I'm backpacking or we're going on a river trip and have a, a bunch of dry bags, um, I bought these little mesh bags um, and each, each member of the family has one. And this is where we have an extra change of clothes that I end up taking for each person and I end up hauling that with us um, pretty much wherever we go because somebody inevitably gets wet. Um, so we have the full, you know, long underwear, base layers, uh, hats, mittens. We have a, a full full change of clothes for everybody. And we've had to use them a quite a bit. Um, but this way it's organized and you can just, instead of digging through mounds to find an extra sock, you just pull these bags out and um, put them right to use. You have to be complicated and you don't have to have all the the latest gear um, it's really just about taking that that first step out your front door and having fun um, some gear can be nice but um, you don't need that much and and just focusing on those things about comfort um, and safety uh, you can get outside easily and have a lot of fun with not a lot of money um, a couple of things that I found uh, really helpful in finding gear that's comfortable and safe but doesn't cost a lot is that there's a lot of ways to get really good used kids gear. Um, you know, there's several used gear stores in town um, as well as Craigslist and Alaska List and eBay, um, all great sources for gently used kids gear. Um, we also have uh, a crew of, of family um, and friends where um, we do uh, buy some of the more expensive gear, but it ends up circulating between um, four or five kids. So, uh, you know, initially a bigger investment, but um, you can really get a lot of, of use out of it uh, over time. Um, and I guess just uh, the last thing is, is, is um, you know, the biggest thing is just getting, getting out and getting outside and having fun and, um, you don't need a whole lot to do that. Just you and your kids um, and a sense of curiosity. We've talked a lot about gear and um, tips and tricks for getting outside in a fun, easy and safe way with your kids. But um, I just wanted to touch a little bit on why it's so important to get your kids outside. One, it's really good for their bodies and minds and um, you know, as we're it's still in the midst of a, a pandemic. That's really important for kids to have um, a healthy and fun outlet. Uh, and it also gets them out of the house, which is uh, a great thing for everybody. Um, I think it's really good for, for families too. Uh, our husband, my husband and I often joke that it's a lot more fun to wrangle kids on the river than it is to wrangle over who gets to do the laundry or, or cook dinner. So um, lots of, of perks there. Um, there's also, uh, you know, just an incredible amount of, of science out there about how being outside and having creative play, uh, helps kids on all aspects of, of academics and, and, um, school and, uh, social, social learning. Um, so great thing for, for your kids. Uh, and then, you know, the last thing I'll say is that. In Alaska, we have it really lucky. We have a lot of amazing places to fish and hunt and recreate outdoors. And uh, we wanna make sure that the next generation cares as much about the resource and the fish and the wildlife as we do. And uh, in order to for that to happen, we have to spark uh, the curiosity and interest at an early age. And um, I have no doubt if we get our kids outside that, that they will naturally appreciate uh, the great place we live and want to take care of it long into the future. Okay, the last thing I wanted to mention is uh, the fun aspect of, of being outside and, and making outdoor adventures fun with your kids. Um, one uh, trick we've learned and right up there uh, is the cooler. It might just look like a cooler to you all, but uh, to my kids that is a, a treasure trove of fun food that only appears uh, when we're on a camping or fishing excursion. And um, we basically uh, made the rule, or maybe it's not having a rule at all, that uh, all snacks are on the table at all times of day. 
So we've definitely, when we've been uh, in the boat and the fishing's hot early in the morning and mom and dad want to fish, um, M&Ms are good to go. Uh, so really um, thinking about ways or special things you can do outside that where the kids uh, look forward to it and it's, it's a good uh, distraction and fun thing for them to do while outside. Inside. We really try not to hard to, to push our kids hard into fishing the whole trip or um, you know going on an eight mile hike when we should be going on a three mile hike. Um, we've, we've certainly learned lessons from both of those experiences. Um, we have come up with some really good games that don't require any gear, uh, like the animal guessing game. And uh, our kids love uh, doing those kind of word games while we're on a hike and it makes the miles go faster for them. Um, we also bring nets, like little uh, aquarium nets, along on nearly any trip we go on if there's water. And I bet my kids have spent hours and hours and hours uh, just exploring, finding bugs, trying to catch baby fish, uh, finding uh, floating salmon eggs, all sorts of really cool things that um, just a net and a bucket, um, that's all they need to have, have fun for hours. You know, it's really easy to get caught up in, you know, getting to the river so you can get in the water, get first water or get into the campsite to have the best camping spot. And there's certainly a time of the place for that. And you we've we've done it um but um you know it's also really important to just slow down and and have fun um and you know just kind of see see the see the outdoor world through the, the eyes of your kids um I've certainly been on hikes and uh have noticed new things because my son or daughter point them out uh same thing on the river uh, and taking time to ask, answer their questions or, or um, research their questions if you don't know about the answer. Uh, all of that is really important and it's, um, it's a great way to spend time as a family. My favorite thing on rafting trips, um, we can go camping on them and rafting. At the same time. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fun. Yeah. What else do you like about camping and fishing and being in the boat? On camping, we can also go fishing. Yeah, we get to do both and at the same time. And we get to go baking. Mm -hmm. What about the snacks? Do you like our snacks? And the snacks are super duper yummy. You know, there's there's times where um, late on a Thursday night, my husband and I have um, are exhausted, and you know, the last thing we want to do is pack and get all that the gear ready and. Um, and we kind of ask ourselves, is it worth it? Is it worth it to to frantically pack so we can escape for a weekend? And um, well, we've certainly thrown in the towel a couple times and it's totally okay to do. Uh, uh, I do think it is worth it. And you know, we are at the stage where um, the meltdowns and the, the piles of gear and um, the, the you know, dumps in the river, all of it, uh, we're seeing the, the payoffs now where when we ask our kids what's on their, their summer bucket list, uh, they say fishing, camping, and biking. And we're like, sweet, that, that sounds like exactly what we want to do. So, um, you know, push through the hard stuff. Uh, and I, I do think um, it'll, it'll result in many, many, many good family memories. Um, and, you know, I also recognize that that, you know, our kids might live in New York City and uh, want to be far away from dirt and rivers and mountains, um, but at least they'll know, at least they'll know what it's like uh, to be outside and to, to, to see this wild and wonderful place we live.